On July 19th, Microsoft announced the discovery of a zero-day flaw in their SharePoint servers. The CVE CVE 2025-53700 was awarded a CVSS score of 9.8. At the time of the original announcement, Microsoft had tracked that the CVE led to the compromise of over 75 company servers, including governments and major corporations. The CVE is an exploit chain that has been named Toolshell by Code White GmbH, which builds off of CVE 2025-49706 and CVE 2025-49704. CVE 2025-49706 is an earlier CVE that allows users to bypass authentication based on a header. That was patched, but the new CVE finds a bypass for the patch. The exploit was originally found in the wild by the team at iSecurity on July 18th. The zero day takes advantage of the way SharePoint handles the deserialization and control render via view state. ViewState is used by the ASP.NET page framework to store page and control values. Now with the toolshell chain, attackers appear to extract the validation key directly from memory or configuration. Once this cryptographic material is leaked, the attacker can craft fully valid signed ViewState payloads using a tool called YSO Serial. These payloads can embed any malicious commands and are accepted by the server as trusted input, completing the RCE chain without requiring credentials. This mirrors the design weakness exploited in 2021, but now packaged into a modern zero-day chain with automatic shell drop, full persistence, and zero authentication. The actual CVE was reported to only affect on-premises SharePoint server instances. Online SharePoint instances for Microsoft 365 are said to not be impacted. The exploit was also quickly added to the KEV list by CISA, demonstrating the urgency and severity of this CVE. At first report, Microsoft did not have a patch available for the Toolshell RCE. Within the day, they announced mitigations and protection guidance and ended it with publishing a security update.